very much for inviting us today to speak about the G20 in Politic agenda. My name is Rakan Dutesh from Saudi Arabian Ministry of Finance. But before we start the discussion on the recent development in the area and the most recent technological and applications of the Infotech, let us set the stage by defining what we actually mean by Infotech. Recent development and advances have dramatically reduced the cost of gathering, storing, analyzing and using data. These support the more efficient and sustainable infrastructure by providing enhanced data tools as well as facilitate investors' ability to make informed decisions. Technology also presents new opportunities for infrastructure investors by creating new markets and business models and the potential for enhanced revenues. So we can say the infrastructure technology or infotech is the integration of materials, machine, and digital technologies across the infrastructure life cycle. So it is any technology that impacts the development, delivery, and ongoing operation of infrastructure, including data-driven decision-making, innovation in finance, and funding that support the management of an asset. From a policy perspective, it is important to make the distinction between the design of technology and the operation of infrastructure planning and delivery versus the integration of technology into the structure themselves, which changes the nature of infrastructure asset from simple object to dynamic information systems. That leads us to the recent development under the Saudi G20 presidency where the Infrastructure Working Group has developed a policy paper called the G20 Infotech Agenda. In 2019, the G20 worked on improving the quality of infrastructure and developed the G20 principles for quality infrastructure investment, which is known as QII, under the G20 Japanese presidency. Emphasizing quality helps attain value for money and ensure that projects remain affordable by considering total life cycle costs as well as economic, environmental and social benefits. So the G20 Infratech Agenda therefore provides high-level policy guidance for national authorities and international community including multilateral development banks and international organizations to advance the adaptation of new and existing technologies and infrastructure. The agenda aims to harness technology to deliver quality infrastructure investment, promoting inclusive, accessible, sustainable and affordable infrastructure in the view of a life cycle cost, mobilizing private sector financing and support the development of infrastructure as an asset class. The focus on infrastructure highlights the important role technology can play in helping countries make well-informed decisions and achieve more efficient financial outlays by mobilizing private sector investment, enhancing service delivery, and by achieving environmental, social, and economic benefits. Allow me please to introduce my colleague Shayma Rafal, who will talk about more interesting stuff on the G20 Infotech agenda. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rakan. Let me first introduce myself. I'm Shayma Rafal from the Saudi Ministry of Finance. I'll be sharing with you today some of the potential benefits Infotech holds. There is mainly three focus areas I'd like to stress on. Improving the efficiency and reducing costs across the project lifecycle. Enhanced analytical functions, data management, communication, and automation have a significant financial benefit. Better planning and decision making through Infratech not only reduces the cost, but it extends the life of an asset. In addition to that, the cost of maintenance can be significantly reduced through advanced analytics, reduced transitions, and monitoring costs, remote intervention, and in demand three everything. That leads us to the second focus area, enhancing economic, social, and environmental value. 
Infratech can help create job economic opportunity by using new mobility solutions to connect people to jobs and create new technology-driven areas. It can also broaden access to essential services, as the health and education, by ensuring safer and more reliable services for users. Infratech as well improve the resilience by enabling faster and more targeted responses to disasters, including the current COVID-19 pandemic. Finally, Infratech can improve air quality, reduces emissions, and enhance sustainability. As the final focus area, creating new markets through technology and infrastructure. Disruptive technologies are enabling new markets by changing the underlying mechanism of infrastructure demand models. This offers opportunity for new domestic and global industries to emerge. The potential benefits and protect options will need to be weighted against the upfront capital investments or the reoccurring financial outlay. Long-term returns and social benefits in a more balanced way. The occurrence of global emergencies as the health pandemic and natural disaster may also increase the upfront capital and the upfront costs. While some infratech opportunity may come with relatively low upfront costs, other investments come with upfront costs that may be prohibited for some countries or regions. Leveraging infratech can enhance economic efficiencies and improve the life cycle performance of infrastructure assets. Government, in fact, can leverage technology to improve the productivity, efficiency, value for money, and affordability of infrastructure projects with respect to life cycle cost and efficiency. Leveraging technology to reduce upfront costs and reoccurring financial outlays support project level financial and fiscal sustainability as well as micro level debt sustainability. That leads us to the final point. Following the recent global discussions and world leader pledges related to climate change and reaching net zero emissions, Infratech plays a major role in adding value, especially through the carbon circular economy. To improve the efficiency of reducing global emissions through a closed loop system involving four R's, reduce, reuse, recycle, and remove emissions. Thank you very much. Thank you.